it is time for my August 2018 favorites. I'm filming this on the last day of the month, August 31st, and I'm gonna try to edit and upload it today also because I do like to update my favorites videos at the very end of the month. I actually don't have too many products to share with you guys because I have been kind of just loving the same old things. There are a couple of new things, but August was a month where I picked up a lot of beauty things because of the Sephora sale kind of near the end of the month. I did end up picking up a few new things, but it's almost too soon to talk about them in a favorites video because I've only been using them for a week. Although, based on how I'm getting along with a lot of the products that I did pick up, I anticipate fully that they'll be in my next favorites video. But for now, we're gonna talk about some products that I have been just loving this past month for the majority of the month, really. I'm gonna start with a base. So I did this whole face of Glossier, I think last month, and I picked up the Perfecting Skin Tint for that video, and I've actually been really loving this. I not only like to use this alone, but I also like to mix it in with other bases. For makeup, I have been loving a really dewy finish. I actually, in the last probably three weeks, haven't even been powdering my face. I have just left it alone, and um, I will notice that my T-zone gets a bit oily or a bit shiny throughout the day, but I'll just take a blotting sheet and blot my forehead, and then the rest of my face will be fine. And I've just been loving the dewy look. So this is perfect for that. This is completely sheer coverage. It basically gives you zero coverage at all. So if you do want to cover up spots, you know, you got to go in with a concealer. But the reason I like this is because even though it has sheer coverage, it actually does give your skin like a really nice glow. And I wouldn't say it has a blurring effect, but it just does give your, your, your skin a little bit more of an even finish without actually giving you coverage. So I've been loving this, like I said, alone or mixed with other foundations. So I have been mixing it in with a bunch of different products. So the Ordinary Coverage Foundation, CC Cream from It Cosmetics, the Dior Face and Body, and even the Cover FX Power Play. I just find that by adding this, I get more of that dewy, luminous looking finish that I'm, I've been looking for in the last month. The downside of this is it only comes in five shades. The upside of this is because it's such a sheer formulation, um, each shade will probably work with a good range of uh, skin tones. I'm just realizing now how many Glossier products I'm going to mention in this video. It's obviously not sponsored, but it's just been the products I've been gravitating towards. Uh, the next is the Glossier Halo Scopes. Now, I love these Halo Scopes. I mentioned it before, but I just picked up the last Halo Scope that I was missing, which is Quartz. So now I have the trifecta. So I have Topaz, Moonstone, and Quartz. I gotta say my favorite is probably still Moonstone, which is the, um, like the white iridescent one. You obviously don't need all three of these, but if I had to rank them, I'd say Moonstone is my favorite, then I would say Quartz, and then Topaz. The only reason I'm not ranking Topaz higher, even though I really like the um, like golden shimmery bronze shade, is because I feel like it only works in the summertime, as opposed to these other two, they're much more, um, I guess, all season appropriate. So the reason I love these is because they are really easy to apply. Um, they do leave slightly tacky finish, but I find that that helps the longevity of them, so they tend to last better throughout the day on my skin tone. I do have the RMS um, Living Luminizer, and I actually just picked this up during the sale, and I really like this. It is definitely more sheer. Um, it just gives you like that natural looking, like wet looking skin. This does not dry down tacky, or at least as tacky as the Glossier Halo Scopes. It really just kind of melds in to your skin a little bit better, but it's a lot more subtle also. And I actually really like how these are, um, they stand out a little bit more on my skin tone and it's a preference. So if you do like a more subtle highlight, the Living Luminizer is perfect for that. If you want a step up from the Living Luminizer in terms of glow, but still not as blinding as like a powder highlighter, then the Halo Scopes are for you. So I have been using these all month and I've been loving it. I Like I said, I haven't really been using powder this past month. I've been strictly sticking to cream products except for the eyes. These just give your skin a beautiful glow. You can apply them so effortlessly. Um, I actually don't swipe this on my skin. I'll usually like take a finger or a brush and then pat it into the skin. I feel like that works the best, but I've been really, really loving these. 
Okay, next is a bronzer. Now, the bronzer I've been really loving this past month is actually from Chantecaille. This is a fairly new purchase. I think I picked this up at the beginning of August. It's the Chantecaille Radiance Gel Bronzer, and I believe they only have the one shade. And this is the loveliest liquid bronzer. I actually don't own any other liquid bronzer. I did want to pick up the Laguna liquid bronzer, but it sold out on Sephora.com and I can't figure out where to pick it up. I think they're still selling it at the bay, but I picked this up before I could get to that one. And it's really nice. Um, it blends really beautifully. It's like a hybrid liquid gel consistency. It's so effortless to blend in. Um, you know, you just apply a little bit and it really warms up your skin. This is a really nice neutral bronzer. It does lean a little bit more warm, but definitely not as warm as the um, Chanel Bronze Universal. So this is much more neutral than that. And like I said, it just gives your skin like this beautiful warmth and it blends beautifully. And you only need a tiny amount of it. So I usually do a drop on a fingertip and then I can do both cheeks and a bit of my temples and then I blend it out with a brush. I've been really loving the Insta Pop cheek brush to blend this out. And it's just so seamless to apply. I love this bronzer. So I know it is the end of August, which basically means the end of summer, but I still wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite sunscreens this past month. It's actually this past summer. Um, I have three of them. So the Drunk Elephant uh, Umbra Tint, the Indeed Labs In Defense 30, and then the Nyad Survival 30. And the reason I have three is because I would really just alternate between them. Um, on the days where I wanted a bit of tint in my SPF, I would use the Drunk Elephant. I like this, it absorbed really nicely into the skin. The only con I have about this is at one point during the summer when I got probably the darkest, I probably reached about an NC42, and normally I'm like an NC35. I found that this, it didn't leave a white cast, but it just looked a little bit odd on the skin. Once I blended it in and it dried down, it looked fine, but just that initial period of when you applied it, it looked a little bit odd. It didn't look quite as natural as the Bioderma Photoderm Nude Touch. On a side note, I did really like the Bioderma one. The only reason I didn't use this more is because it has a very strong pigment to it. Whenever I use this, it did essentially add a layer of color on my skin, which is fine because it's a pretty good match and it looks really nice. Now, because this is a colored product and because you need to use quite a bit of product in order to get the, I guess, recommended SPF coverage on your face, uh, it looked a little bit weird. So I would actually use this as a tinted moisturizer. Um, I would add a layer of SPF underneath it and then I would put this on top. Overall, it's really nice finish. It actually lasts well throughout the day. This did not prevent me from looking oily throughout the day. It just prevented me from looking oilier than usual, if that makes sense. So there is a place in my SPF life for the tinted ones, but there's also a limit to that. I really like these other two. Um, the Indefense 30 was a great SPF for when I didn't want to do moisturizer and SPF. So I, when I wanted to just combine those two and I didn't want the two different steps, I would use this because I did find this uh, moisturizing enough on most days. When I did want to do a separate moisturizer and then a sunscreen, I would use the Nyad Survival 30. It's a really lightweight product. It does have kind of a silvery, um, light nude, kind of beige tint to it. So I definitely can see this leaving a bit of a white cast on any skin tone probably that's deeper than me. Because even for me, if I apply this um, before it dries down, it leaves like almost a blank canvas on my skin. But when it does dry down, it dries down quite, I guess, translucent, so um, it doesn't really show that much on my skin. However, if you probably are a little bit deeper than me, it likely will show or maybe leave a white cast on you. Um, but I like this because easy to apply, very thin formulation, so it really worked well with the layering and it worked well under makeup. My last beauty thing is a fragrance. It's the Glossier U. So I caved and I picked this up. I actually have been using this since probably July. I bought it kind of mid-July and I've been really loving it. I think I mentioned it in the um, Full Face of Glossier video, but I used to always get the samples. And then once they 
switched from the little vial fragrance samples to essentially a piece of cardboard with like a little sticker, I decided I would just splurge for the full size bottle and I have no regrets. I actually really like it. It's so hard to describe the scent. Even if you watch um, Glossier videos or reviews about it, no one can really pinpoint the exact description for it. But when I was wearing this at work a couple of weeks ago, one of my coworkers, actually two of my coworkers, said to me that they really liked how I smelled. Both times I was wearing this fragrance. So when I asked them what I smell like, um, they used the key words of like, fresh and clean and you know like fresh laundry and it's such a weird way to be described but at the same time it's kind of nice so it is a very kind of polarizing fragrance you'll either love it or hate it I happen to really enjoy it and the more I wear it the more I love it my last two things are two random things that I want to share with you guys um, one is a set of frames from Bon Look. I picked up my very first um, set of glasses from Bon Look, I think well over a year ago. I went to the Eaton Center because they had a store there and I tried on some things and I ended up getting a pair of sunglasses. I really love the sunglasses and the quality of them and I ended up picking up more glasses and sunglasses and I'm lucky enough to have benefits at work that pay for my glasses and because these are so inexpensive um, I get a lot more bang for my buck I guess. So I wanted to show you guys my most recent pair of glasses. These are the Frame Illusion and they are in the colorway Blonde Metal. And I really like them. So hopefully they're not like glaring too much and you can kind of see how they look on the face. But I love these because they kind of are a bit of um, a cat eye. I like when my frames go up a little bit here at the end because I find that if they kind of droop down, they look a bit weird on my face. And I also don't like frames that go too far down here because they will always touch my cheek because I don't have a very tall nose bridge. I also really love the colorway because it gives you the illusion that um, you're almost like not wearing glasses because they're almost translucent and they also kind of just blend really nicely with my skin tone. I ordered these probably three weeks ago and I just got them so I was really, really excited about them. I've been wearing them since I did get them. I need glasses for distance so I am nearsighted and I don't wear glasses all the time because I don't really need them to function like I can see perfectly fine day to day but if I'm driving, if I'm in a meeting where I need to like read a board that's kind of far away and it's dimly lit then I do need to wear glasses because it's not like I'm like completely blind without glasses it's just that everything is like a tad blurry my last favorite is a food item and they are these organic fudge bars that i got from costco these are super good this is just an empty box because um that's how much i love them i have to go get a new box 14 come in a box and they're ten dollars at costco and i first tried these because they were on sale for i think 7.99 and i actually got hooked my favorite thing about these is that they are like a solid um, fudge bar. I'm not a fan of the ice cream bars that are like coated in chocolate and it's like vanilla ice cream in the middle. I prefer fudge bars like this. So don't be fooled by the fact that it says that it's organic because I mean Canada doesn't have really strict regulations about what you can call organic and what you can't. So allegedly it is made with finest ingredients and it's made with like organic chocolate or something like that. Um, it is only 90 calories per bar, which is good. Typically an ice cream bar will be like 100 or more. And it's also really high in fiber, like really high in fiber. It actually has five grams of fiber per bar, which is a lot considering um, your daily intake of fiber. This is like 20% your daily intake of fiber, which is kind of crazy for um, a fudge bar. But the best part of these is that they're so good. Um, they are delicious. Um, they're not uber sweet. Like they're still sweet, but they're not so sweet that you get sick of eating them. Sometimes when you're eating an ice cream bar, they just taste so saccharine and sweet that it's almost off putting. This isn't like that. It's like the perfect amount of sweet. So if you do have a Costco membership and you're looking for a nice little like after work snack, I would suggest these because they're really freaking good. 
So those are my favorites, some beauty things, some random things. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like I said, my next month's favorites will probably consist of a lot of the stuff I picked up during the sale. I actually have one more haul to do of the things that I picked up kind of in August. I will be actually doing a no buy in September. So my next haul will be the last haul that you see from me for at least a few weeks. I am spent in terms of makeup products. I mean, I have bought a lot of new things this past month and I kind of just want to revel in the new things that I have gotten and try them and use them before I pick up more things. <laughs> I was actually just thinking about how I haven't even been using a lot of the other makeup products that I even own. I, literally this past month, I have been using the Glossier Skin Tint, these Halo Scopes and this gel bronzer from Shantikai and rarely anything else. So I kind of just am excited to kind of shop my stash and I'll probably uh, maybe do like a weekly get ready with me using products that I have in my collection already um, because I think it's fun to reminisce about products that you love and that you may have forgotten about because you're buying new things. Anyway, like I said, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.